Hi, welcome back to my channel, IT Chair Up. Continue to share my DevOps Engineer Certification Learning Journey. In the last video, I picked up Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification after assessing the other DevOps certifications. In this video, I will show you how to prepare learning materials for Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification. My first learning materials are from Google Cloud Self, the similar learning materials for my other Google Professional certifications such as Cloud Architecture and Cloud Data Engineer certifications. Usually these learning materials are for one month free. I got free access to all training on Google Cloud Skills Booster and the first month free access to all Google training on the Coursera on November last year. You can go to Google Cloud, your no-cost learning path offer page to register your 30-day free training access, or you can go to Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification page, then go to the learning path to register from over there. Now let's take a look at the Skills Booster first. If you have other Google Professional Cloud certifications, such as a Cloud Architecture or Cloud Developer, then you don't need to go through all the labs and the courses. I only highlight three quest learnings. The first one is a deploy to Kubernetes in Google Cloud. I strongly suggest you do it if you have no knowledge to the Docker and the Kubernetes. Otherwise, you can skip it. The second quest learning is optimize cost for Google Kubernetes engine. I strongly suggest you do every lab in this one and no matter if you already have the other Google Cloud certifications or you are familiar with Kubernetes. And pay attention especially on the GKE auto scanning strategies and the GKE workload optimization. You will have questions on those topics in the exam and it is very important to understand GKE auto scaling strategies to work as the DevOps engineer. Also, you should pay attention to GKE videos and articles I list here besides Google GKE documentations. The third quest learning is managing cloud infrastructure with the Terraform. Again, I strongly suggest you do every lab in this one too if Terraform is new to you. Also, you can learn the Terraform for GCP in Terraform website, Terraform GCP tutorial that shows you step by step to start Terraform basics for the GCP. Next training material is from the one month of free access in Coursera. There are five courses in the Preparing for Google Cloud Certification Cloud DevOps Engineer Professional Certification course. These courses provide you comprehensive information on GCP, hands-on labs in the quick labs, and the sample exam questions. Take the benefit of the free enrollment option. Save the PDFs of the slides from these courses to review them before the exam. If you already have Google Professional Cloud Architecture or Developer Certification, then you may just want to take the labs and review the PDFs. I did take a course on 2, 4, and 5, and all the labs, but quickly review the PDFs on the course 1 and course 3. You should also try the quizzes in the courses and the sample questions 
in the Google Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification page, you can retag the sample questions as many as you want. The answers of the sample questions in that page will help you on some questions in the exam. I will go through the details in the after exam recap video. The next step is to determine the learning materials by assessing your knowledge gaps on the DevOps against the exam guide. I will show you how I assessed my knowledge gaps. Section 1 and Section 5 are on SRE. If you have a software development and a production support experience, then you don't need to go through any SRE books. Uh, reading the Google the Site Reliability Workbook should be good enough. I also reviewed several Google SRE and DevOps related videos such as Class SID, SRE Implements DevOps, SRE Virtual Launch and Learn, and DevOps vs SRE from CloudLax, etc. In the next video after the exam recap, I will show you the videos and the chapters that you definitely need to review before the exam to help you answer the questions in the exam. Section 2 is on CI-CD pipeline. Again, if you have software development and production support experience, or if you have cloud architectural or developer certifications, then you shouldn't need to spend extra time to learn CI-CD concepts. I also explained the CI-CD in the professional cloud architect case study, Dress for Wing, so you can check on that video. When I took the Cloud Architect Certification exam, it was focused on the Container Registry instead of Artifact Registry. So I needed to learn Artifact Registry. Besides reading the Google documentations on Artifact Registry, there are also several good article registry videos that you should review. I collected the GCP DevOps Engineer Certification Learning List for your reference. I will also need to learn the Terraform and the Spinnaker since I didn't use them before. I have the hands-on experience on Kubernetes, GKE, Cloud Build, Jenkins. So I will focus on the performance optimization and operations on those topics. topics. The secret management didn't cover in my last, last mini cheat sheet on the Google Cloud Security. So I will take a look at the secrets management for the CI-CD pipeline. Sections 3 and 4 are on Google Cloud's Operation Suite, formerly Stack Drive. The exam didn't use a Stack Drive anymore instead of five services in the Operation Suite, Cloud Monitoring, Cloud Logging, and Cloud Debug, Cloud Trace, and Cloud Profile in the Application Performance Management. If you have a GCP Cloud Architecture or Developer Certifications, you should already have the knowledge on these five services. So I will focus on the metrics, dashboard, roles, and how to configure these services. I also needed to learn the third-party tools that are mentioned in these two sections. So you can see this is my, my final knowledge gap assessment. In the next video after exam recap, I will share exam tips and the final updated learning materials based on the question in the exam. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. See you next time.